I'm meant to be on a yarn ban. I was really sure that I was going to be able to stick to this one too, but turns out that absolutely did not happen. Not only did I not stick to my yarn buying ban, I also seem to have bought an awful amount of the stuff. So if you want a nosy and you want to check out what made me break my yarn buying band then stick along and watch this video i'll give you prices colors codes everything you need to know this is not affiliated in any way i bought and paid for all of this yarn myself um just want to share to be helpful because i love having a nosy at other people's yarn hauls all of this yarn is cotton yarn in aran weight it's all the same brand same um weight and from the same place so it just gives you a I basically have bought every single colour of this brand's cotton yarn. This is basically just showing you their whole entire range by the volume that I've bought. Um, super cheap, super affordable, and it's actually a really nice cotton yarn. If you are new to my channel, my name is Amy, and on this page we talk all things crochet, from crochet tutorials, tips, tricks, yarn hauls, and everything in between. If you are not new and you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for joining me for another video. Okay, should we just dive straight in? It's like a luck little bit of a lucky dip, isn't it? Okay, so as I have already told you, these are all Drops Paris cotton yarn in Aran weight. Um, every single yarn that I'm about to show you is Drops Paris. I used Drops Paris for the first time the other month. Um, when I bought some beigey type colours and I really really like it. Alternatively if I wasn't going for Drops Paris I'd probably pick up a paint box cotton yarn which I really really like too but this one I find more affordable and they've got a much bigger range of colours as well and I'm all here for a range of different colours as you probably already know if you follow me on my socials but let's just kick off and start do want to note that I actually have no necessary plans with this yarn. I just knew that my cotton yarn stash was getting quite low and I just wanted to top it up with a whole range of different colours so that I've got it there should I think of something because there's nothing more annoying than when you think of a project that you want to do you don't have the yarn. I am a super impatient person so waiting for a yarn delivery, although they're always very quick, I just want to click pay, order online, and it be at my door within a few seconds. Um, so I would just rather have everything. I am, and I'm saying this now, so please hold me accountable for this, I genuinely believe that I do not need any more yarn. There's no yarn I could think of that I need because I genuinely have everything. I have my whole stash of acrylic yarn. I now have my whole stash of cotton yarn. There is nothing more I'm going to need. So I'd like to say you won't see one of these haul videos for at least a couple of months. Um, we'll see, time will tell. Um, okay, so let's kick off. So again, this is the Drops Paris cotton yarn in an Aran weight. And this is colour, colour 62. And it's this really nice, bluey green type of colour. Gorgeous. It's really, really nice. I love it. So these yarns are 50 grams and they are 75 metres, 82 yards. If that's helpful. They will all be the same. Um, so I won't keep repeating myself. So they're all 50 grams. Drops Paris, cotton, Aran weight yarn. Next up. Sticking with the bluey kind of colours, we've got this gorgeous one, and this is in colour 48. Really, really lovely. It's like a really deep, like moody blue, is what I would probably describe this colour as. Really gorgeous. Again, sticking with the blue, we've got this aqua blue, and this is shade 10. Really lovely colour actually, lovely for the summer months, maybe for clothing or a bag that you may be making, gorgeous colour. Then got this and I think this is like a denim blue type colour and this is in colour 102. 
really gorgeous actually I don't know if you can see it on the camera how lovely that color is very similar they almost look identical on camera but I promise you they are different this is a lot more moodier color this is a little bit more like your denim jean type color and I've got this baby blue and this is color 76 this is almost borderline white it's a very very pale blue and then another aquary color lighter than this one so we are very similar though um and this is shade two i do want to know all of these cotton yarns for drops paris at 85p so really really affordable in price super cheap then got this mauve color and i think this is gorgeous i think this is one of my favorite colors of the haul and this is in color code 60 really really lovely then got this mint green and this is color 21 this is probably one of my favorite all-time colors i absolutely love this i wanted this type of color for my bridesmaid dresses my husband doesn't like the color green so i couldn't have it so i went for a blue instead um but i love i love all different shades of green sticking with the green theme we have boom look at this color gorgeous this is shade 39 this is probably like a pistachio green, lime green type vibe. No, I'm lying to you. This is probably like a lime green, isn't it? This is a pistachio green. This is in colour 69. Then we've got this green. This is a khaki green and this is in colour 25. You can already tell like the colour variations that you can get with this brand are just phenomenal. They're so nice. And then I've got this darker green and this is in colour 43. Really nice. Foresty green. Then got three more blues because you can obviously never have enough blues. I've already shown you about six. <laughs> um, this one here is shade 73. And then we've got this one is another denim type colour and this is a shade 101. And then we've got a really pale blue which is shade 100. Let's pop into the pink. So we've got this, um, this is like almost, a, I'd argue this is probably a bit of a crossover between a purple and a pink. And this is shade 58. Really lovely, gorgeous color, lovely pastel. And then we've gone for a brighter Barbie pink, which is this color 33. Got an even lighter pink. This is shade 20 and this is a really baby pink beautiful colour and we've got I would argue this is probably like a melon this is shade one I think my plans with this is I am currently going through a debate on whether I want to do a craft market craft fair um, to just see test the waters I don't sell any of my products at the moment never have done um, and I would just quite like to try a fair see how I get on so I want to use a cotton yarn for bags bookmarks coasters face scrubbies little bits and bobs like that so i just wanted a range of colors that i could pick and choose when i think of things that i want to make um we've then got this purple color this is shade 31 and it's super gorgeous i really like this and then we've got a lighter purple this is shade five got another pink and this is 70. Like a beigey, pinky kind of colour. This is shade 63. Okay. Then got another mauvey type colour. And this is colour 64. A really, really pale pink. And this is 57. This is almost like a white slash pinky colour. Gorgeous for like a little baby blanket super gorgeous and another type of shade of pink this is 59 and then like gray purple this is 77 and we've got just a plain white this is a really bright white actually which i know sounds real silly because white is bright but this just feels real bright this is color 16 I've already used this one. 
Um, this is a lovely orange colour and it's in shade 13. A bit of a burnt orange and this is 71. Oh, it goes perfectly with my top today. Got a bright green. This is colour 72. Mustard yellow colour 41. And then a really nice yellowy cream colour. That's in shade 19. Got a brown. This is shade 65. A real deep grey. Like a grey purple this, but a really deep grey. 24 is the colour code for this one. And then last of all, we have a grey. And this is like a silvery grey. And this is code 23. So that is my yarn haul. There is a lot of cotton yarn there. I don't actually know at this point where I'm storing it, so I'm just keeping it in this lovely bag that Wool Warehouse always send me with my yarn. I have loads of these stashed up now. I think they're really great for projects actually because I'm notorious for starting a product and then forgetting what yarn I've actually used. So now what I do is I'll put my project in the bag with the yarn that I'm currently using for that project and it's all just tied up nice and neatly in a bag and I can just, it's like a grab bag really, that I can just grab and carry on with my project. Okay, that is all of my yarn haul of my cotton. So just to recap, these are all Drops Paris cotton yarn in weight Aran and they were all 85p and I bought mine from Wool Warehouse. I was going to pop the codes below, but actually not sure that you will know what I'm talking about because then shades don't actually have a name. So it's not like I can give you the shade and then the code. Um, so I have given you all the colour codes on this YouTube video. So I hope that is good enough for you to be able to find what you need. Um, but I literally just go on Wool Warehouse, look at the Drops Paris range. They will all be there. And I pretty much think... This is probably about 85% of their colour range. So hopefully if you were thinking of getting a colour, actually seeing it on this video will help you decide whether it's a colour that you want to buy. Um, I just now need to think of some projects that I can use all this yarn up and find somewhere to store it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for joining me. If you have any questions, comments or want to know anything, please drop me a message below or you can reach out to me on my socials my handle for tiktok and instagram is the same it is love and yarn creations and i'll pop it up there for you in case you want to come and join me have a little chat with me i love talking all things crochet so please drop into my messages um but yeah thank you so much for joining me today